Hello learners. Welcome to class B part 3rd English paper 7. Our today's topic is Tarutat in Indian English Poetry. This is an introductory class and I will try to follow Tarudat's biographical and bibliographical detail. Tarudat is a pioneering figure in Indian English poetry. Though he wrote two novels in French, one in French, another in English, he is mostly known as a poet. She belongs to the initial stage of Indian English literature, which is also called the Renisha period of Bengal. This, this first stage is often termed as pre-colonial or pre-independence phase. Her poetry thus imbues the romantic and nostalgic strain characteristic of British Romanticism at the time. This phase was basically imitative of British and European uh, Romantic Victorian literature. However, she uses Romanticism to express her unique belonging to her nation and its roots. Her dominant themes of her poetry uh, were solitude, patriotism, nostalgia, memory, etc. This short-lived poet, poetic genius who died at the age of 21 often gets compared to the romantic poet John Keats. Tarudat was born in famous Dutt family in Kolkata, West Bengal in 1856 to Govind Chandra Dutt and Hitramoni Dutt. The family converted to Christianity in 1862. Her father also wrote poetry and she was the youngest of the three siblings. Aru, her elder sister, who wrote eight poems in a short span. Those eight poems are included in uh, Tarudat's poetic anthology. They spent their childhood in Calcutta. This idyllic childhood memory would continue to haunt her when she would be abroad and apart from her siblings. Her education was mostly done at home by a tutor and she learned French, English as well as Sanskrit. Indian mythological stories recounted by her mother would also influence her poetic outlook. At the age of 13, Tarudat left India along with her family to visit Europe. After spending four, four year, years there, they, they, they returned to Calcutta in 1873. However, her sister died of consumption at the age of 20 and also his brother died before that and he died and she died all, uh, only at the age of 21 in 1877 uh, due to consumption. Tarudat has left behind a considerable collection of both prose and poetry in both French and English to place her as an eminent writer in such a short span of life. She wrote two novels. One is Bianca or The Young Spanish Maiden. It is written in, French, in English and another novel which was written in French. Her poetic collections are a Sheaf Cleaned in French Fields. This is a basically a translation of French poetry including her uh, poem also, one poem also. It was published in 1876 and it contains 165 poems. And another, then the most important poetic collection of her is Ancient Ballads and Legends of Hindustan published in 1882, that is posthumously after her death, and Edmund Girls writing the introduction to the collection says she brought with her from Europe a store of knowledge that would have sufficed to make an English or French girl seem learned, but which in her case was simply miraculous. Her poetry, Tarudat's poetry reflect her understanding 
of the NC of India's ancient culture and its ethical foregrounding. Thank you.